Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 7, Lesson Number 8, and we are solving problems using mixed units of weight tonight. So yesterday we had a different unit. Today we're doing weight. Let's take a look at some of the problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one, directions are really straightforward. Determine the following sums and differences. Show your work. Let's take a look at 1E. 1E asks us to add these two values. We have five pounds, eight ounces, and nine ounces. And again, our first step should be really simple. We're gonna combine our like units. So we have five pounds, and let's see, that would be 17 ounces. But you know what? I'm noticing something about 17 ounces, right? 17 ounces is more than a pound. 16 ounces would be a pound and then we've got one other ounce, right? So let's take those 16 ounces, make a pound, combine it with that pound, and we'll end up with six pounds, and we only have one ounce left over. Now, does that make sense? Uh, let's take a look at our number sense, right? Five pounds, eight ounces is about five and a half pounds. Nine ounces is a little over a half a pound, and so sure enough, we'll make six pounds, and a little bit more than that, six pounds, one ounces, that makes perfect sense. Let's try one G, which is a subtraction problem. What if we had 23 pounds, one ounce, and we wanted to subtract 15 ounces? Well, the problem we're gonna have, right, you can see right away is we're trying to take away 15 ounces and we don't have 15 ounces. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to change this number. We're gonna need to change this number. Let's decompose one of the pounds, so we'll leave 22 pounds. Let's see, one of those pounds would be 16 ounces plus the one we've got there. So that's one, 22 pounds, 17 ounces, right? So those are the same values basically, right? 23 pounds, one ounce is the same as 22 pounds, 17 ounces. The only difference is now we can do our subtraction. 17 ounces minus 15 ounces is two ounces, and we had our 22 pounds left. Sorry for the little uh, confusion there over here on the side. They don't give you a lot of room, especially when you have big fingers working on an iPad screen. Awesome. Let's take a look at one other problem from tonight's homework, and this is a really tricky problem. Um, and so this is the reason that I wanted to go through it together. Number two, uh, the word problem number two seems a little more straightforward, and I wanted to leave that one for you. And number four is a multi-part program, so I'm going to leave that one for you as well. Let's take a look at number three. We'll use our read, draw, and write strategy. Let's read first. Bianca had six identical jars of bubble bath. She put them all in a bag that weighed two ounces. The total weight of the bag filled with the six jars was one pound, six, four ounces. How much did each jar weigh? So let's see. I'm going to draw this next. So let's see. We've got bags and jars. So let's see. I'm going to say we first we've got the jars, right? And each of the jars, we've got six of them. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And then we've got the bag itself. And the bag it weighs two ounces. So let's put a two there. And then we're told that the weight of the bag filled with the jars, in other words, everything total, is one pound, four ounces. And then what we're supposed to figure out is each of these identical jars, each of these six jars, how much do those weigh? So let's see. Uh, we could go at this a whole bunch of different ways. Um, I'm going to think about it this particular way, and you can just follow along if you will, or and solve it in a different way if you'd like. So we know that the we know that the bag weighs two ounces, and we know that overall it weighs one pound, four ounces. So let's just change this to say that the six jars, I'm sorry, see, I'm already making a mistake, that the six jars weigh one pound, two ounces, right? Because we had a two ounce bag as part of the overall weight. So if we subtract it from one pound, four ounces, we get one pound, two ounces. Okay, now one pound, two ounces. Let's see, one pound, two ounces, we've got to convert into ounces, I think, because we've got to divide it up across six jars. So let's see, one pound is 16 ounces plus the two that we've got there. So I'm just going to say this is the same as 18 ounces. So six jars weigh 18 ounces. Hey, now I can almost see the answer, right? If six jars weigh 18 ounces, then each jar must be three ounces, right? Because if we skip counted by threes, right? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, right? Six times three is 18. So each jar must weigh three ounces. And that's going to be my writing part, right? Oops, got my blue marker. Each jar weighs three ounces. 
Now, there are a whole bunch of different ways to solve this problem. You might not choose to use a tape diagram. You might have different little objects. You might choose to engage this whole problem, all of it together as with this whole weight rather than separating it out like I did in my problem. A lot of different ways to attack this problem. Uh, none of them is the, the correct way to do it. Every one of them, as long as you do your math right, will arrive at the same answer. And so I look forward to seeing what your solutions look like on this and other problems from tonight's homework. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems.